titles in Red Dead Online have played a vital part to Red Dead Online's community. Almost every title update for Red Dead Online included a new role to the game. Some are better than others, which leads to this video where we're going to be ranking the roles in Red Dead Online. I will be ranking these roles purely on gameplay, not on how much money you will make with these because obviously that will go to the collector role or the unlocks you get from ranking up from these roles. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Number 5 being the collector role. Now the collector is the best way to make money in Red Dead Online. The gameplay perspective of this role is incredibly dull. And the legitimate way to play this role is to buy collector maps and then use those maps to find the collectibles. You don't need to buy the maps to find the collectibles, you can find these on accident or walk around towns or settlements until your controller vibrates notifying you that a collectible is nearby. The collector role is very dull and mundane. You pretty much just go from point A to point B to find a collectible and repeat the process until you're ready to sell the collectibles to Madame Mazar. Although many players, myself included, made thousands of dollars with this role alone, the process in it itself is just so mind-numbing, that's why I put it at the bottom of this list. Number 4 is the trader role. In this role, you hunt animals, skin them, or bring their carcasses or parts to crypts at your camp butcher table. And once crypts breaks down the animal parts, you can start a sale mission using a small, medium, or large trader wagon. Now this is sort of like the collector role, in the sense that you collect items, in this case being animal pelts and you bring them to the vendor, this being Crips, to make money. The trader role is, is much more engaging than the collector role. The gameplay for the trader role makes you go to hunting spots and tracking down animals and killing them and hoping to get good or perfect skin for the animal pelts. In the sale missions, you sometimes have to protect your sales from NPCs or even protect yourself from other players from stealing your wagon and selling it to the buyer which makes this role much more engaging and much more fun than the collector role, which makes this number 4. Number 3 would have to be the naturalist role. I have made a video recently defending the naturalist role. For those of you who don't know, the naturalist role is a role in Red Dead Online where you can sample animals to rank up in the role. You can also sell these samples and gain XP as well. Although this video isn't about which role makes you the most money, the naturalist role allows you to encounter legendary animals with legendary animal sighting missions. You can also save animals from poachers with the free roam poacher missions. And I've had a lot of fun with these missions, especially the legendary animal sighting missions, which is why I made the naturalist role number three on my list. Number two on the list is the moon China role. The moon China role is the only role that requires you to purchase a property for the role, that being the moonshine shack that you can later expand with a bar and a band. You can also upgrade the business by upgrading the copper distillery so you can produce higher quality moonshine. The moonshine role is also the only role with story missions similar to land opportunity missions in Red Dead Online. Not only are there story missions that you can replay, there are bootlegger missions. These missions help lower the cost of supplies for your, your moonshine business and you can sell moonshine to buyers and certain buyers will ask for certain flavors that need certain ingredients like provisions, certain liquors, and certain herbs as well. And on the sale mission similar to the trader role, you will have to deliver the wagon of moonshine to the buyer, but instead of the NPCs attacking you, you will have to look out for revenue agents at stops, where they will make you stop the wagon and they'll check your wagon for moonshine. And sometimes they'll see the moonshine and attack you, and other times they'll just let you go. And players can also steal your wagon and sell it to the buyer, just like a trader role. This is a very engaging and fun way to make money in Red Dead Online, and I also do enjoy the story missions, I like the bootlegger missions. The whole role in and of itself is very engaging and fun, which is why I made the Moonshiner role number two on my list. Number one on my list of best roles in Red Dead Online would have to be the Bounty Hunter role. The Bounty Hunter role is pretty simple, you go to a bounty board in a town or a settlement, and you, ch you choose which bounty you want. One star bounties, two star bounties, and three star bounties. One star bounties being the easiest, three stars being the hardest. A lot of these missions are repetitive, but they are fun as well. Some missions you go to the locations and either take the bounty from their camp or you take them from a moving convoy, or you can track them down by studying clues from their last known locations. The bounty hunter role also has the legendary bounty missions, where you go after unique legendary bounties with unique backstories to them, and you get cool cutscenes with them as well. And if you purchase a prestigious bounty hunter role, which was added to the bounty hunter expansion DLC, you can unlock three additional legendary bounties. Not only that, but you can unlock the new infamous bounties, which is sort of like a three part legendary bounty where you pick up one member of a gang or criminal syndicate for each mission. All that being said, 
I will say purely based on just gameplay and not money making methods, the bounty hunter role is easily the best role in Red Dead Online. Mainly for replayability, the gameplay loop isn't as boring as the other roles and they're a lot more fun and engaging. It's always fun to have shootouts and the submissions are really fun and unique, especially the legendary bounty missions. Infinite bounties are also fun, but you will have to buy the expansion, that being the prestigious bounty hunter license. But again, I would say it's worth it if you want the full bounty hunter experience. But yeah, I was, like I said before, I would say the bounty hunter role is much deserved when it comes to being the best role in Red Dead Online. If you guys did go on enjoy this video, a like and a comment will be appreciated. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let me know if you agree with me down in the comment section below. Do you agree with this list? Do you have your own personal rankings? Do you think that one role is better than the other? Think I was wrong on something? With all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.